welcome back in TechDev Studio and our Unreal Engine tutorial series and this is also a course so last of couple parts we'll learn about epic launcher we'll learn about Unreal Engine version that which we need to download and we already downloaded the engine in our previous video in this video we're going to talk about and learn about the creating projects and understand the templates once you install the Unreal Engine, you find something like this. If you have multiple Unreal Engine, you find all of your Unreal Engine something like this. I'm going to show you and I'm going to continue the course with last year's Unreal Engine version, which is 5.2.1. By pressing launch button, you are able to launch this engine and or you can say the run the engine. If you're doing first time, it will be take you some time to compile all of them. If you have already some projects, it will be show you all of them. If you see and give a look a goodly, you'll be find your project name and your project that supports versions or the platform, your project location and the engine version. The current is mean that which engine you're using that is the same project. And if it's older or newer, it will be show you the version like 4.27, 5.1, 5.0 and 5.1, something like that. If you want to create a project, you need to or a new project, you need to go to the games. At the games you file found all of the templates. Also here you can create a for the television and events, architecture, automotion or pr uh, production design or simulation type stuff. However, we are going to continue with the games. At the games you find couple of templates. The first one is a blank template. This is a blank template with a open world landscape. Then you find a first person shooting template, which is basically a preset of create a, if you suppose you want to create a first person, how the first person hand or gun will be work. It's have a basically that demo with a shooting system like firing or shooting bullet. Third, you find a third person template. So if you uh, want to create a third person game, so at there you for understanding the third person logics, how the third person camera movement work, how the player work third person, you will be you can use this one. The phone number template is a top down game or a top down template. You will see there's a lots of game in a Google Play Store or App Store or even a Steam or Epic Store that the uh, the top down stuff like wherever you click the player will go there but that is in a third person that is pretty similar in here you will find the touching system and also the a top down control system you find one more at here that a vehicle template if you want to create a car game or vehicle game so understand the vehicle engine logics and vehicle throttle steering wheels and controlling system you can use this template then you find a hand air or a hair project. The air project is basically give you a template with a, some couple of assets that how the air system work and how you need to do your first air setup. Then you find the last, the virtual reality or VR. And shortly we call it VR. You can call it a virtual reality. So if you want to create the VR game, so with this template, you are able to understand the VR logics, concept, picking system, and shooting and ETC setup system and ETC more. If you look all of the template, every template have some feature. A and a common feature is the blueprint and C++. So if you want to create your project and you want to continue your all the codes with the blueprints or C++, so from here you can choose. There's a lots of doubts at here or there's a lots of, you know, uh, tail or comment at this point that if we are, if we create any blueprint projects, are we are able to create C++ class? Yes, because Unreal Engine is a C++ engine and with that anytime you can switch your project to C++. At there, there's a one more question come that if we switch our project blueprint to C++, are we are not able to do blueprint code? No, that is wrong you are still available to do code in a blueprint and both in C++. And there's a lot of question in C++ also. If you create a C++ project, are you able to switch in blueprint? 
So by default, a C++ project can run Blueprint. So there, there's a no doubts that you can you can write the Blueprint code and it will be work. But yeah, make sure the C++ project you need to do some compiling stuff. The first thing we are here to underst let's understand the all the co concept of the project and project creating. Then we'll be see. I'll show you the C++ uh, project also. The first thing here we already learn about the blueprints and c++ so suppose if you want to create a blank project or even a 10 percent template you can choose the blueprint or c++ i'm going to choose the blueprint then you find the targeted platform you find sub uh, for all of every uh, template but the vr and the ar is a specific one that ar only works in the mobile and vr only works in the vr stuff so that's why they they don't give you tons of feature but other projects it can be run both windows pc mobile so there you find this option called targeted platform so this is allow your game target that for which platform you are designing your game for desktop like pc max linux os console or something like that or in a mobile AR VR or even virtual reality or something like that so in my case I'm choosing the desktop then you find the quality preset there's a two type of quality preset one is cable and one is maximum the maximum give you the ultra realistic and all the high quality and this cable give you the good performance but it will give you some bad uh, quality and uh, also you'll be find that the pixel render on the edge side or the sharpness of the edge will be not to come perfect there's some lines will become at here so if you want to create an optimized game you can choose a scale if you want to create a high and realistic game and so at that point you need to use the maximum then you find a starter content or not this is as we told and as i talked last uh, the previous video that this starter content includes some material structure and other stuff so that is the basically this so if you click on that so in your project the starter content will be add so you will be find some basic materials texture and vfx and sound and etc more then you find the ray tracing currently in unreal engine all the five version most of people don't use the ray tracing they use the lumen because the lumen work better than ray tracing and it's more cost uh, efficient that's why the ray tracing basically the RTX what we call in the games or will be see lots of popular game use the RTX that is basically the same thing that ray tracing that is basically called RTX so the ray tracing allow you to you know the ray tracing uh, the config how the ray tracing works I'm not going to explain uh, more then you find uh, basically the project location and project name so whatever you want to create your project you need to choose the location Basically, you are creative project, so you need, it needs some storage. That's why. Then you find the project name that whatever project you want to give your project name, and make sure this is not actual your game name. So you can write something else also in the your game name. So don't worry about that. If you thinking that okay, this my project name is my game name. No, you can give it name anything, and whenever you are basically exporting your game, at that time you are able to basically choose your game name so first let me create a blueprint project for you and then in next tutorial we'll be learn to creating a c++ project so i'm choosing in the music digs i'm so i'm going to basically choose the location to somewhere else so i can continue in later so i'm going to choose my fdig slash new udemy or you can i can choose in my video folder and let's give it that uh, bp project you can use the underscore but you can't use space make sure and there's also a character limit of writing uh, the characters in the projects so make sure it's have the character limitation that maximum 20. once you choose your project name and everything let's click on create the project and i'm going to, because this is a desktop uh, game so i'm going to choose maximum quality and i'm going to create a project Now it will be take you some time if you do first time but otherwise if you are doing already did two to three times it will probably have all the shader compiled that's why. So this is your Unreal Engine. If the UI is not coming same don't worry because I did some customize in my UI that's why. I will show you that later also 
but for getting uh, like similar like your one and my one what you can do you can basically choose your mouse and go to the windows and there from the windows you need to go to loadout and here you can choose the default editor layout this is allow you to make the unreal engine 5 editor so if you are opening the first time you'll be fine similar like me because this is the editor default of unreal engine 5 version we'll be learn later that how we can customize our own editor or layouts and how we can save and use them again and again so this is a creating a project in next tutorial we will be learn about creating the c++ project because this c++ project we need to do some configuration and we need some more software also that's why so thank you so much for watching guys love you all see you in next tutorial video